Stan, stylized as Stan, is an Australian streaming company which offers original and rebroadcast movies and TV shows by subscription. It was launched on the 26th of January 2015. Stan is owned by Streamco, which is a joint venture of Nine Entertainment Co. and Fairfax Media. In August 2014, each company invested $50 million in Streamco. It competes primarily against the American-based streaming services Netflix and Amazon Video. Stan's original comedy No Activity became the first SVOD program ever nominated for a Logie Award at the 2016 ceremony. Content <inaudible> 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 At launch, the first major programming announcement was the exclusive rights to the premiere season of Better Call Saul as well as the rights to Breaking Bad, which previously aired on Foxtel. Stan will also hold rights to Transparent and Mozart in the Jungle. The company has a content partnership deal with Sony Pictures, ABC, SBS, and its World Movies subsidiary, Viacom, MGM, BBC Worldwide, Showtime, CBS, Village Roadshow, and Warner Bros. International Television Distribution. On 15 December 2014, Stan signed a non exclusive agreement with ABC Commercial, which will include hundreds of hours from the mostly Australian ABC television back catalogue, including popular series Summer Heights High, Jammy, Private School Girl, Upper Middle Bogan, It's a Date, The Moody's, Angelina Ballerina, Bob the Builder, Thomas and Friends, The Wiggles, Redfern Now, Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries, Jack Irish and Janet King. On 17 December 2014, Stan signed another non-exclusive agreement with Viacom Global Networks, giving it streaming rights to MTV, Comedy Central and Nickelodeon television shows such as SpongeBob SquarePants, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, iCarly, Victorious, Avatar, The Last Airbender, Legend of Korra, Teen Mum, My Super Sweet Sixteen, Geordie Shore, South Park, Tosh.0 and Reno 911. In August 2015, Stan Stan signed a multi-year deal with Warner Bros. International Television Distribution, bringing several new U.S. series to the platform, including Australian premiere series A to Z and Selfie, as well as the third season of the following the first two seasons aired on the Nine Network. In 2016 it signed an exclusive licensing agreement with CBS, providing Stan with the exclusive license to Showtime series such as Ray Donovan, Dexter and Billions, as well as CBS series including Madam Secretary, Elementary and Under the Dome. Stan is also commissioning its joint owner, The Nine Network, to produce original Australian drama series exclusive to the service and has approached ABC and SBS on the possibility of co-producing shows and films. On 16 February 2015, Stan announced it was developing two original series—a Wolf Creek series and a political drama based on the life of High Court Judge Lionel Murphy titled Enemies of the State, with additional productions to be announced in the coming months. On 10 March 2015, it was announced Stan had acquired Plonk, a comedic wine program which had formerly aired on Eleven, premiering Season 2 on 18 June 2015. On 1 May 2015, Stan announced its first commissioned series, a comedy titled No Activity, which premiered on of October 2015. Stan renewed No Activity on 15 December 2015 for a second season. <laughs> Premiere programming The following is a list of programs which have had their Australian premiere on Stan. Topic original programming No Activity Seasons 1 to 2 and US Adaptation Plonk Season 2 Wolf Creek Romper Stomper The Other Guy Bloom Topic acquired programming Stan has also released season one reboot of Will and Grace, which was released alongside all nine seasons of other sitcom Seinfeld. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Upcoming episodes, season five, 2017. 
Topic: <laughs> Marketing and subscription numbers. At launch, Australian actress Rebel Wilson promoted the service. Parent company Fairfax Media claimed they were approaching 100,000 customers by March 2015. However, many of these customers were on a 30-day trial period. In May 2015, Fairfax announced the service was nearing 200,000 subscribers and had a target of 300,000 to 400,000 by the year's end. In May 2015, Roy Morgan Research found that Netflix had 1.039 million Australian users, compared to 97,000 for former competitor Presto and 91,000 for Stan. In October 2015, Nine Entertainment claimed that Stan had between 150,000 and 200,000 paying subscribers, which they said was ahead of Presto's estimated 100,000 customers. One year after its launch, CEO Mike Sneesby announced that 1.5 million users had used the service across almost 700,000 subscriptions. In December 2016, Stan claimed to have 600,000 active subscribers. In November 2017 it was reported that the service had over 800,000 active subscribers and revenue topping $100 million a year. Stan reached 1 million active subscribers in June 2018. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Supported devices. Topic: <laughs> Hardware supported The devices on this list are supported by Stan Apple TV since the 13th of May 2015 Apple iPad Pro 12.9 and 9.7 Apple iPad 2 and all later generations Apple iPad Air and all later generations Apple iPad Mini and all later generations Android tablets and phones running Jelly Bean 4.2 or higher Google Chromecast Sony PlayStation 3 since the 8th of October 2015 Sony PlayStation 4 since the 8th of October 2015 Microsoft Xbox One since the 13th of January 2016 Telstra TV since December 2015 Stan does not support jailbroken iOS devices Topic <laughs> <laughs> software supported Supported web browsers by platform Macos OS X Safari Google Chrome WebKit or Firefox Windows, Safari, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer 9 and above, Microsoft Edge, Opera or Firefox Linux, Google Chrome or Firefox Apple iOS 7, 8 and 9 Apple TV OS Android 4. 2 or higher Xbox One Topic. See also Internet television in Australia Subscription television in Australia